are very warm. Yeah, that's right, Josh. We're sitting in the 40s and 50s this morning. Yesterday morning, though, we were in the 30s and 40s dealing with some frost, but you can see Bluefield, West Virginia coming in right now at 50 degrees. Beckley, a few degrees cooler at 48. Look at Richlands, already up to 55 degrees, and that's all because of these southeasterly winds pulling up that warmer, moist air. Yesterday, we had winds out of the northwest. It was cooler and drier, but with that moist air comes these clouds. We are dry right now, but we have a lot of clouds on satellite and radar, and you'll notice off to our west, we have a low pressure system. That's bringing rain to the area off to the west, but that's going to start pulling into our region this afternoon into the evening hours, and that'll last for the next several days. So you can see low pressure system moving closer to our area, bringing in rain this afternoon and evening hours. We have some heavy rain that we'll be dealing with overnight. We'll have to watch out for some localized flooding, but rain continues into the day tomorrow, even through Saturday as well, as this low pressure system just sits right over top of us. What it will also bring is gusty winds. So later today, we could see winds gusts over 40 miles per hour and they'll continue to strengthen into the afternoon hours especially in our higher elevations and the winds will die down a bit tonight but we could still see gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour into the overnight hours now here's a closer look at things we're dry for the morning hours temperatures in the 40s and 50s we're just dealing with a lot of cloud cover now the rain will move in later this afternoon into the evening hours as you can see here temperatures topping off in the 50s low 60s pretty similar to what we had for high temperatures yesterday and as we head into the overnight hours we hang on to that chance of rain could be heavy at times waking up early tomorrow morning stepping out the door temperatures in the 50s with a few showers out there and we'll hold on to the rain as we head into the day tomorrow with temperatures topping off in the 50s and 60s once again. Now with that rain today, we do have the chance that it could be heavy in some parts of our area. That's why we're under a marginal or one out of four risk for excessive rainfall. We'll have to watch out for some localized flooding, especially around creek streams and other low lying areas. So you can see here we hold on to the chance for rain tomorrow through the day on Saturday, but Saturday night, Sunday, Things start to fizzle out a little more. Sunday morning, we hold on to the chance for some isolated showers, but by the afternoon and evening hours, if you're going trick-or-treating, it should be dry out there, just cooler. Then on Monday, we look to dry up. Tuesday, Wednesday, into Thursday, though, you'll notice the steady increase in rain chances. That's because another storm system will be moving into our area once again. We look to stay wet mid to late next week. But today, temperatures in the 50s. We'll have the chance for some showers during the afternoon hours, and it will become windy as well. We hold on to those breezy conditions tonight with some rain, which could be heavy at times. Temperatures bottoming out right around 50 degrees. And taking a look ahead, we hold on to the chance for rain Friday into the day Saturday and Sunday morning as well. But temperatures will be cooler Early next week, we look to dry out, but that doesn't last long as another system moves into our area, bringing wetter conditions and cooler temperatures as well late next week.